Hey, Dark Siders. So, first off, everybody pray that my camera doesn't run out of battery because I know it's running mighty low. But I wanted to talk about two Netflix shows that came out that I never got to make videos about, but I do want to share my thoughts on them because I've seen them both. And I'm sure you guys have all seen them. Spoiler alert in case you haven't, we are going to talk about War for Cybertron and then we're going to talk about Project Power on Netflix. So let's talk about War for Cybertron first. Number one, it was a trip down memory lane because I had a lot of these Transformers. I am a big Transformers kid. I'm talking about 84, 84 cartoon for Transformers. And I remember, I remember saving my money to buy a big, a giant size of Starscream that my neighbor had. I remember he lived up the top of the hill. His name was Matthew. And he sold that thing to me for 30 bucks and I had to save to get that, but I remember being so excited to get that big Transformers. So I'm a big Transformers fan. So here is the problem now with me with War for Cybertron. I thought the story build was good. I love the trip down memory lane. Did, did I see Omega Red in there too? I think I did. I think I did. So I, I, I loved all of that. But what I did not like, and this was a big turnoff for me, was the CGI, the computer generated animation. I just was not, I, I just couldn't feel that because it did not feel the same as what I'm used to. And I feel like it is the classic animation that really drew me into the characters and really made Transformers an immersive experience for me. The fact that it was bright, it was vibrant, and we don't really get that in the Netflix special. Uh, the animation is very drab. And, 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 and just visually, it doesn't have the cues to immerse me into the show. So it didn't really pull me in from that aspect. Even though, as I said, I thought the story was pretty good. So I was not a big fan of War for Cybertron, even though I know a lot of people liked it. I think a lot of the Darksiders liked it. I was not a big fan of it, and mainly because I just could not attach myself to the animation. It was actually a pretty big distraction. And as a result of that, I could not get immersed into the story. So those are my thoughts on War for Cybertron. Now... Let's talk about Project Power. It's a shame, man, because I feel like Project Power had a lot of potential, a lot of potential, and I feel like there could have been so much more strength of story from something like this, but it really just fell flat for me. I was also super excited about seeing Jamie Foxx in a superhero movie, and I was really hoping that this was going to be much more powerful for me so that we might see him in more movies like this. We probably will. I don't know how much I like it, but we probably will see it. But there were so many problems that I had with Project Power that it's almost too many to name. But the biggest thing for me is that this thing had no kick. It had no real... Um, uh, immersion factor in the sense that there was nothing to really grab you here and I'm not even really sure we got a, a very cohesive story here we know that there were these pills right and that if you take these pills you can get certain powers but you have to be careful because some of the pills can actually cause you to explode but we don't know a whole lot around why these pills were designed how these pills were designed somehow they were in line with jamie fox's daughter who i guess has some kind of power maybe that the government was siphoning or something like that i'm not sure what was going on here but to me the story was not very cohesive it was not complex enough for what it could have been for something like that i mean you really could have done some really really interesting things with this but they didn't I also didn't like the little girl in there that was the rapper, and she was kind of the comedic relief in it, and kind of what they did with her storyline, and Jamie Foxx encouraging her to, uh, to, to, to go for her dreams and things like that. I Just none of this worked for me in Project Power. I, I felt like it was a real waste of concept. And it wasn't Jamie Foxx's best performance either. I mean, he is an Academy Award winning actor. But having said that, not everybody that's an Academy Award winning actor can pull off every role. And in this, he just was not very successful. I mean, I don't think that's a slight on him. I just think it's the role. I don't think it was a good fit for him. I didn't like Gordon Levitt's in this either. And I like him as well. Man, I mean, you know, he's my man from Inception. But I just did not enjoy this. I thought it was a poorly written story. I thought it could have been much stronger. I was really disappointed because I was really looking forward to seeing Project Power. So those are my takes on Project Power. That is my take also on War for Cybertron. Just wanted to get that out there for you guys to hear. Let me know what you think about it, especially if you liked it. Maybe it was good for you, man. Maybe, I mean, maybe you really enjoyed it. And maybe I missed some things. Maybe I did not have uh, the wherewithal 
to be able to see all the value that was in both of these works on Netflix, but I was not a fan. All right, you guys, just wanted to give you that update. Thank you so much. As always, follow me to the next video, which you can see right here. Dang, going it right here. And I'll meet you guys there. Peace.